Got it, got it. No way. Four days, we've been chasing one of these and we finally got one and nothing less than a hole in the ground. Uh, I gotta go to the hospital. I'm gonna be doing a right here on the left. Friend. What's up Ocean Family? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm super excited because we're gonna go take a look at one of my all-time favorite fish in the Pacific Northwest. Not only is this fish huge, it's also camouflaged, super aggressive, has giant teeth, and it'll eat just about anything it can fit into its mouth, and even things that it can't quite fit in its mouth. Today we're looking for a monstrous fish. Let's go. These rocks are super sketchy to jump across. Parkour! Patrick Star! Hey buddy! Don't worry little fella! Eat! Yeah, here's a nice deep hole. This thing's like 10, 15 feet deep. Fall in there all by yourself. You're not gonna make it out alive probably. Yeah, here's a good spot I think. All right, we're gonna try this new bait setup today. Rather than using a real fish, we're gonna use this little rubber fish. So the first two days of fishing was full of catching everything that wasn't this monstrous fish. We caught starfish and we caught tons of old fishing line that was polluting the ocean. So I just uh, caught this braided fishing line that's in the water. If this stuff doesn't get out, it's gonna take hundreds of years to biodegrade. So I'm gonna try to get as much out of this as I can. We got some of it out, probably about 10, 10 feet or so. And day three is when we started to have just a little bit of luck. Yeah. Got him, got him, got him. Yep, got him, got him. No! No! You can see all the teeth marks in it right here. Just can't seem to hook them. I don't know what's going on. They keep popping right off. After losing what I'm absolutely sure was a monster fish, our luck started to run out. Come on. Day four. Still no fish. I'm starting to wonder if there are any left. After a couple hours of not getting a single bite, I decided to switch it up and try something completely different. I wanted to see if there was anything down in these deep holes in the rocks. Oh, dude. Bro, Alex. I just lost a huge link out. I don't know if you guys saw that, but that was a big, big link out down there. Let's see if we can get them to bite again. That thing was a monster. I was thinking like maybe they're hiding in these holes because the tide's out. Got him, got him, got him, dude. Got him, yep. I'm gonna need your help though. Got him. I, uh, I need you to come over here as quick as you can and reel in for me a little bit. Just a little bit. Keep going, keep going. Okay, got it. We saw it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah. Yep. Awesome. Right over here. Is he okay right here? Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. No way. Oh man, let me get my gloves. Four days, we've been chasing one of these and we finally got one and nothing less than a hole in the ground, guys. Let's check it out. Now, this is a Pacific lingcod. Let me get it. I'm gonna take a look at its teeth too in a second. Now this one is a male. As you can see, he is leaking semen. Check that out. Look at this guy. Very, very big boy. Now they get a lot bigger than this. I would say that this is probably almost two feet long. Look at the size of this. Now these, di these guys have little spines on their back, but they're not very sharp at all. But what is dangerous about them is actually inside their mouth. They got some big teeth and you do not want to get your fingers or hands or any body part caught in these. What a beautiful fish. Look at these. Now these lingcod 
are known for eating fish, any fish that they can fit in their big mouth. I want to open his mouth, but it's, I know he's going to bite me, but these guys can open their mouth big enough that I can put my whole fist in his mouth. And not only that, these lingcod are known to bite onto fish that are much bigger than them because their teeth are so sharp, they can take chunks out of pretty much anything. These guys are so cool. We're gonna release them back into the water. What a beautiful fish. Now this is a super, super popular fish among fishermen and they serve these in fancy restaurants all around the Oregon coast. It's personally one of my favorite fishes to eat but this guy is for education today. We're gonna go ahead and release him. But it took us four days of trying all day to find one of these guys. We were casting out in the ocean. Little did we know that we could catch one right down in that little hole. All right, farewell, buddy. We're gonna send him down in this little hole. All right, there he goes. After catching that huge lingcod, I wanted to see if there were any more big fish down in these holes. So I dropped the line in again. I got another bite, but when I went to set the hook, my finger was on the line, and the line cut my finger almost all the way down to the bone. <sighs> yeah, might need stitches. Oh, that's a deep one. <laughs> that sucks. Sea monster sends me to the hospital. I cut my finger, and I need a doctor to look at it. Hi, my name's Jennifer. I'm gonna be doing your triage right here on the left, first friend. Whew. Four days of trying, we finally got it. The ever elusive, monstrous lingcod. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video if you haven't already. Subscribe for the next ocean video, and we'll see you next time.